for this beautiful bracelet we need a base of netting and embellishment with bicons. We start with a sequence of one red, three black, obviously seed beads, and we repeat this five times. So one, two, three, four, five, Okay, now we add one red, four black, one red and three black. So this is the starting sequence for our net. Now we have to create the loop and we skip one red, two reds and we go back through the third red. Okay. And now we create our diamonds, our diamonds of the diamond sides, three, one, three. So three black, one red, three black. Skip one, go through this one. And the second side of the diamond, three black, one red, three black. And we close it in the first red seed bead. And now we have to turn. To turn we use the sequence of four black, one red, and three black. So the turning loop, four black, one, two, three, four, one red, and three black. And we go back through this one. Now we create one and the second diamond and one side of the diamond is three, one, three. We skip one, we go through the second red seed bead. I usually call the, the red seed beads connectors. And then the second one, so the second side, three black, one red, three black, skip one and go through this one. And we create the turning loop, and the turning loop consists of four black, one red, three black. Four, one, and three. So this was the loop for the turning, and we go back through the first 
a red connector available okay and here we continue with closing the first diamond closing the second diamond and for this we are going to do three black one red three black and this is the basic sequence that we repeat until we get the desired length for our bracelet or maybe even for a choker if you want one two three one one two three okay and here we are at the end of the row we create the turning loop which in this case is four black one red and three black for the half of the diamond side okay I'll be back and we are going to embellish a few of the diamonds and you know how to create your bracelet so let's say that this would be the end of the bracelet <laughs> that you want to make and you want to start the embellishment so at this point your thread comes out of one of the red seed beads we move the thread through the first next um, two seed beads from the previous loop we add one seed bead one bicone one seed bead and we need this sequence to protect the thread because the bicones can be very sharp and when the bracelet is worn it's easy to be broken to be cut and we continue so we go out of the previous connector we add the sequence and then go through the next connector and okay and we go through the two seed beads from the loop as well in the same go okay just make sure that the thread sits okay and with this turn we continue with the same process go through the first connector seed bead by cone seed bead and go through the first connector and this is how the embellishment comes up seed bead by cone seed bead and here we go through the red connector and the two seed beads from the turning loop and we continue like this until the entire net is covered with the bicons looks really really pretty I love it absolutely love it okay and here you go 
absolutely lovely. Thank you for watching.